Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am going to brave it today and try my best to do a live painting with a dot painting. Um, this is one of Christy Biddleston's Meta Studio on Etsy's Hearts. And I am going to attempt it on paper first so I don't mess up my stone. But, um,. I've just had the tools here from the starter kit to see what I can do. And I've had a lot of people say, oh, it's so pretty, but I don't like doing mandalas. Or I don't like, you know, I can't do mandalas. You don't have to. You can do it any way you want to. And I'm going to show you that now. And I don't really have an idea in mind of what I want to do with this. So I'm just going to play around with different ways to decorate the hearts. And yes, I do always use the ink in my lids first because otherwise it's just going to dry up and why waste it? But you could draw a picture. You draw flowers and dot them in. It's very relaxing. I'm turning it over and getting a smaller tip. And we'll put a little small one in between each one of these. Easy peasy. It doesn't take a long time to do. It's up to you how fast you want to go. Now if I was working on the actual stone, I would actually be putting it on this outside so I'd be right on the edge of the design of the stone You have to try to keep your hands still. If you'll notice, I keep my other hand right here. So I bring this hand down and kind of putting the weight on here so it don't go down heavy on the paper. And also it helps to keep my hands steady if you shake any at all. I have several people say I would love to be able to do that, but I shake too bad. 
and I shake too. Certain times of the day I shake. Especially if my sugar gets low. And there I have my heart outlined. And when I was looking at these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two. One's going to have Nicholas's name in it and the year he was born. And those have Anthony's name in it and the year he was born. So I wouldn't be doing this much elaborate decorating. I would just be, you know, decorating around their names and such. But I'm just trying to figure out different ways of using these. If you wanted to, oops, make like a housewarming gift, you could put established in the year that they buy their new house it'd be great grandchildren gifts You know, if you have older grandchildren that like things to sit around in their bedrooms. I have to move this. I keep sticking my hand in it. Trashman's here. Hope y'all can't hear that because he's very noisy. But as you all know, I love to do sun tangles. And what I'm really thinking about doing is incorporating some of my sun tangles in with my dot painting. I'll show you if I get to the point where I can do that. Not real straight. That's why this is a practice. <laughs> okay. Two colors. Now. My little buddy's favorite color is green. So... I just happened to grab this color pencil.
Barely made it, but it's in there. It's a different size. I know, it's like watching paint dry because I'm not saying anything. Sorry. The rest of them I do, I'll probably put to music. Ugh, messed up. And then you can put any lines you wanted to in here. You can draw a little truck and dot it in. You know, you can do anything you want to with them. Um, there, it's real easy. You don't have to do mandalas, but it is very relaxing. And it also is very mind-absorbing. If you want to say, it keeps your mind off of everything else. Because you have to concentrate on what you are doing. And it really has helped me a lot with pain management. And I've never used stencils before. And I used the one that came with the starter kit last night practicing. And I think I kind of liked the stencils at first. I didn't think I was going to like it. But I really do. And I started to do a heart on this one. And then realize when I close it, they're going to stick together, so I didn't. So yeah, this is a stencil that came with a starter kit, I believe. So there you have it. Easy peasy. Um, I'll be back with some more complex ones. But right now, um, I just wanted to get one started. Just to show everybody that's saying they can't do Mandela's. They don't like Mandela's. There's a thousand and one things you can do with them. You can do your flowers with it. You can do, you know, draw a picture and then just dot it in with all different colors. and be amazing. And like I said, I'm going to do some of my Zentangles with it. And, you know, I'll come back and show you on a video set to music when I do the Zentangles. Um, I have to keep this one short and sweet because I get the boys today for the rest of the week. Their mom had surgery this morning, so... We get to play Grandma and Grandpa this week. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. And it is M-E-T-T-A Studios on Etsy. And she does sell the starter kits that comes with your tools, stone, um, stencil. Anyway, I have a video up here already that says her starter kit. So go check it out and... You know, if you think this is something you'd be interested in doing, hop over and get you one because, trust me, it is a whole lot cheaper than what you're seeing it advertised at other places on Facebook right now. And you get all of these tools with your starter kit too, and that's more than enough. I mean, if you want to do bigger projects, you know, you can always pick up some more, but that's more than enough to do. It's on this one over here, all I used was that starter kit. So, you can make any size. Alright guys, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.